Hi, this is Ed Gregory for PhotosInColor.com and today I'm going to be explaining exactly what Photoshop layers and layer masks are. Theme tune! Do -do 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 I'm gonna run backwards around this light. Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. Okay, so Photoshop layers. It seems so simple when you know what they are, but if you just started with Photoshop, this can be very confusing. So now I'm gonna do a demonstration for what they are. Now remember, you can get the project files I'm gonna work on later from photosincolor.com with my entire Photoshop training course. So imagine this, this is your image. And what you're gonna do, for example, we have a, <laughs> it's not very good. We have a person, okay? So this is a person on here. And then what you wanna do is you say well, you wanna add something. So you're gonna take something and then you're gonna add it on top. Great, so now we've added this, but what if you wanna get rid of that? So now you go, oh, well now I wanna get rid of that red bit only, and you're gonna try and remove all of that, and that's gonna take forever and it's gonna be a catastrophe. So that's not a very good way of doing it. So then the other way of doing it is you've got your person, for example, and you go, oh, well, what I want to add on to this is that red squiggle. Well, what you do is you create another layer. So this is your person. You add another layer on top of that, and then you add your squiggle on top of that. So now what you've got is you've got a person, and then in front of it, you've got this squiggle. Now, this is what's really amazing. Now, you can't see it, because imagine the rest of the white wasn't there. But now you've got this on here, and you can say, oh, well, actually, I don't want that anymore. Well, you can delete it and the person is still completely fine. Now that's really quite amazing. But let's take this one step further. Maybe you wanna add something else as well. So we use a green squiggle on this one. So we've got this squiggle. Well, now we can have the person that we add this squiggle on top and then this scribble on top, which is really powerful. But what if we want the green scribble to be behind the subject. Well, this is what's really amazing. You can then put a mask around the person. This is me masking it out. So now you've got your first layer, and then behind it, you add a new layer, which is the green scriggle, and you can see the green layer behind, and then in front of it, you can then say, I want the red layer. But maybe you only want the red layer to be on the bottom half. Well, you add a layer mask, and then you can essentially do this. And now you've got multiple layers. Your first layer is the red, but it's only on the bottom. And then you've got your subject in the middle masked out so you can have something else placed behind it. Now that there is essentially how Photoshop layers and masks work. It was also probably the most confusing way of me to explain that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm now gonna show you inside Photoshop. <laughs> No idea why I did that. Okay, so here we are inside Photoshop and we're gonna be using this photograph, lovely photograph of the amazing Rosie White. She teaches dance here on photo on YouTube. Um, so check out her channel, uh, Dance Lovely is the channel name. Anyway, so here we are. First thing we're gonna do, let's just duplicate that layer by hitting Command J. So now we have straight away two layers. So layer one and then layer two, I've just duplicated it on top. I would always say do that just to get you started in case you mess it all up. What you can do is you can always delete it. So for example, now let's show you how this works. Let's take the pen tool. We have it set to yellow over here so we can just make this selection like this. And then let's make that scribble. Well, now you can see, you can't see the subject, but if we were to hide that initial layer, this one is painted completely on top of the image. So, I can't get rid of it. So if I wanna get rid of that, I then, I, I mean, I don't even know how I would do it. I'd have to go in and kind of, I don't know, paint it out like this and it would do it. I don't know even how you do it, it'd be a catastrophe. So instead what you do is create a new layer. So you go Command Shift N, which creates a new layer. And we're gonna call this Yellow Brush, for example. So now we have a new layer on top of this one, and now what's what, 
Oh, that's not set to that. Sorry, hold on. Let's come back to the brush. And now we're going to go like this. And we're going to create that. Okay. And now watch, I can turn that on and off and it's on its own layer. So let's hide the other layer and we can just see it's just a yellow scribble. And say I don't like that one, I can hit delete and I've completely got rid of it. So that's really powerful. So let's just draw on this scri scriggle again. Great, so this is say our scribble. But what happens if we want the scribble, oh sorry, see I didn't do that in a new layer. Command shift new, let's make a new layer. And we're just gonna draw this on top like so. So this is really great. Let's do that one more time. I didn't really like the scribble. Great, so this is what we've got here. Now, what would happen if I wanted the scribble to be behind the subject, but in front of the sky? Well, if I move it behind that image, it goes behind the sky as well. So that layers hasn't worked. So what we need to do is create what's called a layer mask. Now, essentially, a layer mask works like this. To get to it, you just have to click this little button down here, which creates a mask. Anywhere where it's white, it can be seen. Anywhere where it's black, it cannot be seen. So let's take the brush. Let's paint black so I can change this from white to black by hitting X. And now if I paint black, if you look, it's going to get rid of it. And we can see that that's what it looks like down here. Now, if you option click on the layer mask, it shows you what the layer mask itself is doing to the image. So we can see, okay, that's what we can do. So if I come into here now and I can essentially try and paint out the model. Okay, and that kind of does what, it, what I wanted it to do. So that's essentially the way that it worked. But let's do a far better version of that. Let's hit Command Z, Z to come out of that. So we still got a layer mask on there. Now what we're going to do, let's hide this layer and let's just select the sky. The sky is easy to select because it's all blue. So we just take quick selection, okay? And all we have to do is draw on the blue and it's very quickly going to go, oh, I can, okay, I get what you want to do here is select all of the blue. So we'll come down, great job. Let's select inside the arm here, inside the arm here, and between the legs, okay? So it's done a pretty good job of this, but now what we need to do is refine the edge. So let's make sure we have that layer selected because that's what's important. And then we're gonna go refine edge. Now we're in here, I have a whole tutorial on how to do refine edge, so check that out. Um, but essentially we're gonna use smart radius and all we're going to do is we're gonna paint like so. And what it does is, is it analyzes what I'm painting on. It's figuring out where the edges are. And remember, if I start off in the blue area, it's going to know that that's the main body of what I want to paint on. Then it's going to use that to get rid of that color range. So I can see very quickly, and I'm not going to do a very good job of this, but okay, that's a good enough job. Okay, you can see what that's done. There we go. Pretty good job of that. Oh, let me just miss this hair at the top. Awesome. Now all I'm going to do is hit OK. And now what essentially it's done is it's made this a selection, which is fantastic. So I can add a layer mask onto this by hitting layer mask. And then it's got rid of the girl. Fantastic, kind of. So let's try it the other way. Let's go into invert. So you hit command I and it's going to put the girl in. Well, that's really good. So now we can open up this yellow and we can put it behind her. Well, we like that, but now we've got a problem because we've got rid of this blue sky. Well, we've got two options here, really amazing options. One turn on the background layer and you see now it's going to put that in and essentially we've just got the girl that we can put back on in front. Really amazing. The other option is, and let me show you how this one works. Let's leave this one on the top and let's move this layer mask of the girl onto this one. So we'll first of all delete this layer mask, right click, delete layer mask, and by holding Alt or Option and dragging this layer mask up here, it's now going to apply it to that other layer. Now we can come back down to the other one and we can disable the layer mask, like so. So now we can see it's just drawn on her and then we have to go 
um, command I on this layer mask to invert it. Now watch that section back to figure out exactly what I just did, but essentially all we now have is the girl and then this has a layer mask on it. And this is the advantage of doing it that way. Let's do something clever. Let's maybe have this whole squiggle wrap around her in some way. So how, how might we actually do that? Let's have it wrapping around these legs. So we come back to our pen tool, we make sure we've got this layer mask selected, and we go X so that it's white, and then we paint it back on. And watch what happens. Now it's gonna paint that squiggle on top of it. So you can see now this has gone all the way around and it's come on top of it in such a fantastic way. And we can do that in all sorts of different areas. For example, we could go, okay, well we like that, let's also have it coming over her body just here. So now we can see it's kind of wrapped around her in two places. I don't really like that. But what I do like is I think it's gonna look really great weaving in front of her just there. In fact, we're just gonna go between the legs. And now you can see this is weaved in beautifully and it looks amazing. So let's do one more thing just to show you how these layers work. Let's add another layer. This time it's gonna be a text layer. And let's just type in here, uh, photos in color, like so. And we can just take this and we can, I don't like that font. So I, let's just change the font. I know I'm gonna go for Bebas regular. I like this one. Let's now increase the size of this, like so. Photos in color. In fact, we're gonna do this on three different lines. So double click on this and we're gonna have photos in color and we'll align it left. Sorry, we'll align all of it to the left by going paragraph left, there we go. And let's increase that line spacing. So it's nice and split. Okay, this looks really nice. Let's make it black. Great, I really like this. And let's make it really big. Okay, in fact, we're gonna keep this as white. But what I'm gonna do is I'm now gonna hide it behind her again. So for this one, I can just come down here and now it's come behind the yellow as well. And if I keep coming down, so now we've got a little bit confused of who is where and who is doing what. So what I can do in this situation is I can actually take this layer mask again, option, and just duplicate it over the top of the yellow one. So we've got that one, but then move it back on top of it. And now we have three different layers. Let's make it red so we can actually see it or I think actually black, yeah. So essentially now we have the text up here and then a layer behind that is the yellow and then a layer behind that is the, the, the sky and actually the girl is on the very background layer. And that really is how I've magically created multiple layers and made this amazing kind of magazine front of an image that I can now move these things around. Now you can see, let me just show this one thing. I wanted to move that around, but it's moved the mask as well. If I was to unclip these and I have the text selected, now I can move the text and it moves around her constantly and it stays behind her, which is really quite amazing. So I could, for example, make this centralized, that's not a word, is it? Centered, there you go. And I could say, put it behind her up here. And we could just make this bigger. I don't know, I'm messing this up now. <laughs> but you, you definitely get the idea, there we go, at what we're able to create just by using layers and layer masks. We can do some amazing things. So I hope that made sense. The beginning of all that layer thing, it's really simple. You create something, you put something in front of it, you put something in front of that, or you can move it behind. And then you have layer masks that allows you to do different things. Definitely spend some time playing around inside Photoshop, figuring it out and really how it works and how it interacts with each other.
Anyway, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Definitely subscribe because I've got loads more tutorials coming in the future. This was Ed Gregory for photosincolor.com theme tune. Oh.